Um, my meeting with Prabhakaran was very odd, I would say. Uh, I was a second year student at MS University, Baroda. I think it was 1990, yeah, it was 1995. Um, I was just in my second year. I had no idea what I was doing as a painter. I had come from design school and I was completely confused about what painting is and what all these isms they're talking about. And I, I also tried to keep a distance also for, uh, honestly from that uh, sort of intellectualization. Um, yeah, I, I was keep I was very careful and guarded at that time. Um, so when I met Prabhakaran, I, I heard a lot about Prabhakaran and everybody, and I know all the all my sensible, intelligent friends like Chinnan and Reggie and all, all, a lot of people were talking about Prabhakaran said this, Prabhakaran said that. So I was very curious about him. Uh, and then when I was like, who is Prabhakaran? Who is Prabhakaran? And then I see this short guy and he's like the antithesis of putting up an appearance. He's like opposite spectrum of that. He's just wearing his shirt and he's just in his slippers and he's the same. He's not even tall. He's the same height as all the students and he's just sitting there and smoking with them. And I was like, and there was like a one-to-one -one camaraderie and comfort there. It wasn't like normally a guru is sitting and everybody is like, you know, at his sort of, you can see, feel the hierarchy. You did not feel the hierarchy when you saw Prabhakaran sitting with somebody. That was a big deal. That was a big deal in hindsight. That was a very big deal. Uh, so I saw him sitting with sitting with the students, and then I was slowly a little bit more curious about him. Then one fine evening, I show. I uh, it was very dark, and I was with my drawing book, and he asked me. He insisted that I show him my drawing book, and what I I I wasn't confident to show him. I didn't want to show him. He insisted and then I showed a drawing of a couple to him and it was just a man woman relationship kind of autobiographical uh, drawing and I didn't think too much of it to me every yeah it's a strong drawing I was very good at skills so it, it, I was like okay it's a strong drawing I know that but beyond that I don't know but he he suddenly started talking about feminism with me. And to be honest, that was the first time I heard that word uttered in context of my work. I was like, it's, how, why is he talking about feminism with this, just, this just a man and woman sitting? Why is he reading all this into it? But that was very intrigued. And for the first time I felt like in Baroda, somebody, took my drawing or my art seriously and tried to interpret it with those meanings and try to see it for beyond the skill and beyond the content, what, like, what is he trying to see? So I felt very intrigued by what he said and it kept, it kind of triggered something for me, what he said, although it was like barely 15, like 10 minute meeting and it was very dark. I was even like curious if he even saw anything, like maybe he was, it's in his own world and he interpreted something that did not exist there but that that spark was lit in me I know that the spark was definitely there from that conversation and then I remember sitting with him in uh, another party and uh, he in, in between he tried uh, I did a lot of uh, drama also because he thought I was I, I thought I thought he thought that I was like kind of superficial and just some, some fun loving person and I wasn't like serious enough so I would pretend to be serious in front of him just to trick him um uh, then uh then I even and then there was a party and I met him and uh, it was I remember it was at uh, uh Zakir's house there was a party I cannot repeat what he said but First of all, I, again, I was very intrigued. Why is he saying this? I just sat here. I'm just having my food and barely trying to learn to eat rice and fish with all my friends here. And why is he lecturing me again about feminism? I wanted to run. But he said something. I cannot repeat that, what he said. But what he said, next 20 years, I kept thinking about what he said. Okay. 
Um, he had left Baroda after that, unfortunately, very, very unfortunately for Baroda that he had left a, a person who was that connected, that genuine, that that who had that much of depth and knowledge had left Baroda. That was very, it was very sad, very sad loss for Baroda because I'm sure if he had stayed longer, I would have learned a lot from him, definitely. L loss for me, forget Baroda. It was a big loss for me that I did not learn more from him because what he said in just, I had two interactions and what he said in the second interaction that I, it stayed with me for 20 years. And I was like, thinking like, my God, I'm still thinking about what he said. And I thought, let me let me go and just see what he's up to. And I know knowing Prabhakaran, definitely he won't be on Facebook. Uh, but I still went and checked uh, with Kabita. And I just thought of him, like I should reach out to him because what he said was very important. And I'm realizing the value of it after 20 years. And then I, when I go to Kavita's page, I see rest in peace, rest in peace. And he would be very surprised if he sees that I'm crying for him. Um, and, and then I even, uh, I also thought like, uh, I, I, this is the funny part that I thought that um, Prabhakaran saw me in this light, you know, like somebody who came from NID and they don't care about painting. And But when I talked to Kavita, she, and I was even sharing the joke of the kind of like how I was trying to fool him, like, oh, I'm so serious and all. But when I talked to Kavita, she shared that Prabhakaran saw me crystal clear. He saw me crystal clear in that short, short, short meeting. No misunderstanding. He knew my past, present, future, everything. Crystal clear. He had read me and he tried to guide me. And it is. I didn't interact with him, so it's my loss. I hope to know him through Kavita. Um, but I think it's a loss that, uh, at least at Baroda, if he had been there, a lot of students would have benefited from his presence. Um, thank you. Thank you, Kavita, for asking me to do this for, for him. <laughs>